Hey guys, I'm Vince Del Monte. Today we're gonna to do some bodybuilding Q&A off my Facebook fan page. So my man Adam here has taken the most popular questions uh, that he felt would be relevant. I have not reviewed them. I do not know what he is gonna ask me, I promise. I'm gonna keep these answers short and to the point. They're good questions? Yeah, very, very good. people? Well, I've, I found myself asking the same things, so hopefully they're very informative. All right, so Adam's an up and coming bodybuilder here. So these are uh, great questions, whatever level of fitness you're at. So fire away, question one. Okay, so will training legs make your upper body grow faster overall? I would say yes, but not for probably the reason you think. I would say it toughens you up. Lower body training is gonna make you hard, it's gonna make you tough, it's gonna help you deal with discomfort, get used to lactic acid, which in turn is gonna make the lactic acid you experience in your upper body feel a lot less intense. So um, yeah, I believe leg training is going to toughen you up, which is going to overall make you better. If anything, I'd say leg training is more of a mental workout than a physical workout. Mm, well said. When do you suggest to do cardio, before lifting or after? Always after training. Whether your goal is muscle building or fat loss, I always prescribe it after. If you want to be intense, you want to be focused, you need your concentration on the weight training because building muscle is going to ultimately increase your ability to burn calories throughout the course of the day. It's more important, let's put it that way, it's your, it should be your priority, building muscle, because muscle ultimately burns fat in the long term, and uh, it creates a, a physique that may, looks shapely. What effects do carbonated beverages like pop have on, muscle, on the muscle building process? That's a good question. Um, I would say it affects your digestion primarily. Carbonated drinks would promote motility through the stomach, so it's gonna push your food, your uh, food through quicker. Now, do you want your food to go through quicker? No, you wanna digest your food. You wanna absorb your amino acids, your nutrients, right? So I would say carbonated drinks are not ideal if they're you know, put in as a treat then sure. And if we start getting into diet sodas, I mean, everybody should know there's really no positive things when you start pumping sodium benzenate into your body. There's tons of research on that. So, um, and anyways, people will say, I've been drinking diet soda since I was 10 years old and my gains have been great. Well, I would say your gains would be even better if you weren't drinking it. Tips on how to work out your forearms. Uh, fat grips. Um, can I grab something? Absolutely. Um, I didn't know you were gonna ask me that. Actually, Big Pac-Man, Big Ben Pikowski, these are his. Ben, I still have them if you're looking for them. Uh, he gave me these a few years ago. So fat grips can be purchased from their website. These things are amazing. They will jack up your forearms, which has been a weak body part for me, and they will challenge your entire arm workout. So grab yourself some fat grips. They have orange ones too, but I'll be honest, they're not necessary for probably 95% of you. These things are challenging enough. What are some tips on maintaining healthy joints? Learn how to train properly. Learn how to target a muscle. Learn how to keep the tension where you want it. Use loads that you can control. Once you start losing, using loads or, or attempt to use loads that you can't control, the emphasis gets shifted through different parts than you intend, only because your body's designed to protect it and to survive. So. Um, Use weights you can control, that's my best tip. Weed and its effects on muscle building and not just in terms of motivation, but the actual science behind it. Weed? Okay, so if you have uh, some pot on Monday, it's gonna affect your testosterone levels until next Wednesday. So you what? are gonna be training in a less optimal state for the next couple days. The research is out there, find it, Read it. If you don't believe me, it's not my loss. So when training to gain size, what's more important? Fuller range of motion or time under tension? Both. They're both important when it comes for size training. You don't have to pick one, it's using both. So the first thing would be range of motion, recruiting all the muscles through a range of motion, and then maintaining the tension, so both. 